Myocarditis is commonly cited as a factor in vaccine hesitancy, but should it be? Let's verify. Our sources are the two major studies on the issue, one out of Israel and one by the CDC, and Dr. Gautam Vellamore, the section head of cardiac surgery at Virginia Mason Medical Center in Seattle. Dr. Vellamore describes myocarditis as inflammation in your heart muscle, and in general, your odds of getting it are slim, about 15 in 100,000. But once you have COVID, the CDC study proved it's astronomically higher. Incidence of myocarditis in patients who have had COVID-19 is 16 times higher than it is in the regular population. The study from Israel is often falsely used as proof that the vaccine can give you myocarditis. What the study actually showed is that the incidence rate was only 2.13 per 100,000, about eight times lower than the average incident rate. It did reveal that men 16 to 29 were the most likely to get myocarditis after being vaccinated. Doctors still don't know why that is, but even then, 98% of those cases were either mild or intermediate. What would you tell people about uh, myocarditis, COVID, and the COVID vaccine? What I would tell you is myocarditis, when it occurs, is typically mild. It's got a much higher incidence in patients who have COVID-19 than those who are vaccinated. And fear of myocarditis should not dissuade anybody from getting the vaccine. We can verify having COVID makes you 16 times more likely to get myocarditis, but the COVID vaccine does not. With your Verify, I'm Steve Bunin.